What we wanted to do was develop technology that really solved a major pain point around sustainability, food scarcity, climate change, and soon enough we got connected with uh, people in the aquaculture industry and we were able to partner with Sustainable Blue here in Nova Scotia. Real Data approached us to say, hey, can we come and talk to you about what we're trying to develop for biomass estimation cameras? They're very uh, upfront with, uh, they're not promising the moon, right? They're just saying, hey, we're developing this, we want to develop with you. So very honest and open, which is what we like, and that's how we operate as well. Biomass camera systems are a lot more accurate because you get to sample a bigger sample size of fish. Allowing them to really understand more of what's happening under the water allows them to better plan operations and grow fish better. Fish feed is the number one operating cost, so we're very conscious of keeping that optimized and not wasting any feed. To do that, you really need to understand how big your fish are and the population profile of any fish that's being fed. Traditionally, they will take a fish out of a tank and weigh them individually. That is a lot more challenging to do when fish are larger in size. The way they do it manually is you net out a sample of fish and you can only do anywhere between one to 300 because it is intrusive to fish. With an AI camera system, you can get to thousands, so you get a really accurate representation of what's actually happening under the surface of the water. It records video of fish swimming by, and each time there is a fish in the frames of our stereoscopic camera, we are able to weigh that individual fish and put it into a distribution. When we weigh anywhere between 700 to 1,000 fish, we're unlocking new data that's never existed to these farmers. It also allows us to get the data when we want it, right? Particularly if you move fish to another tank or put fish together with another set of fish, you want to get a new profile and get that back into the system for projections. We also feed fish completely autonomously. We can understand how stressed out fish are in real time, as well as health and welfare. Things like lesions, thin damage, maturity, and supply the data in real time to allow them to better know what's happening under the surface of their water without actually having to touch fish. A lot of these farmers have plans of massive scale and that's going to be really hard without automated systems like ours. So that is one of the biggest things that we see as our vision. As we get into more and more and more farms and we get more and more data, we're seeing that we completely change the economics of land-based aquaculture. We can grow fish better than farmers are growing fish right now. We automate a lot of the processes and with this we're going to allow the industry to scale.